Hello and welcome back to my little world. Today we're gonna try and create a hidden staircase. Yes, a hidden staircase. So imagine going around in your base or something. Yeah, this is not finished. And I'm thinking, hmm, I need a faster way. Just with a press of a button, you will have a little hidden staircase. And I'm gonna show you how I actually created this. It's a very uh, simple staircase. Uh, the, the automation will actually go free down. So if you're looking for something further, I'm not sure this is going to work though, but this is what this is. I can open and close it from the bottom too. Doesn't look as great here, but you can easily create some doors automatically close off here with some pistons. But you can close and open it here. This tutorial was actually inspired by my nephew who was trying to create a hidden staircase in the wall. So a shout out to my nephew which Minecraft name is Blessed the Great Els. Let's get right into the redstone. So to make this all you need is Five repeaters, six redstone torches, some redstone, minimum about 13 redstone, but that should not be enough for actually creating the redstone line to the actual button, depending where you want to place it. Five pistons, ten sticky pistons, three stairs of your choice. One or two buttons, then you should have about 34 blocks where your redstone can be on. Welcome to the creative world. First, you're gonna need to make a hole for your staircase. You need to dig five down and have seven wide hole. To create this. You have to think about when you actually create this. That the staircase will come out here. So free out from the side. You see that like this. It's free out. So. so the first thing you need to do. Is. Oops, it's easy. The first thing you need to do is. Figure out where your hole needs to be. This is where I need my entrance to be. So, we need to be one out, boop, and one out here, boop. There's two blocks there, and then we need to have put on a sticky piston. That's wrong. A sticky piston there, and a sticky piston there. Then you need a block and a redstone torch right there. After that, you need to have block there and a block there. Some redstone at the top and a redstone torch there and a redstone torch there. Next step, you're gonna take your block, you put your redstone on, and place eight of those right here. On those blocks, you're gonna put some redstone here, 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 and here. After that, you're gonna put a repeater there, repeater here. It's gonna be in vortex, it's very important. Next up, you're gonna need the, the blocks you're gonna use for your floor. So, maybe some stone blocks in my case here. Because this is gonna be very, very visible. After that, we're gonna place a block here, block here, block here, and block here, and block here. Then we're gonna have a repeater there, repeater there. Both will be on one tick. Next up, oopsie daisy, we're gonna have some redstone here and here. It's gonna go into this block. Then you're gonna have a redstone toss on the top and a redstone toss on the side. And a block there. And then you're gonna take your pistons and place one there, one at the side, and one down there. After that, you take a sticky piston. Place one there. there 
one there so it's formed like this and of course we're gonna have a fourth one right there next step you can place your stairs and there will be three as I said from the beginning one there there and there and now we need to put some sticky piston. I just place this up temporary to place it a lot easier. One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> and for that, you will put what's gonna be on the top. These gonna be to fill up the top so we can't really see there is actually something up here. Then you're gonna have us. An old piston. One we place there. One we place a little further back. Um, I just gonna build this temporary. A little further back. Right like that. Boom. And of course you're gonna have your floor blocks for that. Next up. Now I just remove the temporary blocks here, but next up we're going down here. We are going to place some blocks that are actually going to connect the circuit with all the pistons that's up here. Make this work, you know? So, what we're going to need to do is put some blocks out here, like that. Put some redstone dust right there. We're gonna have a repeater right there. It's gonna be in three ticks. Very important. If you don't do that, it's not gonna work. Next up, we're gonna take the building block again. Right there. And there. And there. So you kinda get a V shape. A U shape. That depends how you look at it. And in the middle, you're gonna have some redstone. With this, the, all the redstone is actually done. However, all this redstone is inverted. So, what we need to do is make a hole here. And yes, we are actually gonna make a show you how it's gonna look when you actually have the button on it. So, as soon as I place the redstone here, boop, you can see it goes up. We actually got a staircase. Isn't it wonderful? And of course, we can just build like that there. That's part of the floor though. By the way, so to connect all this with a button, we need to have a repeater right here. Boop. And let's see. There. You have the button on the other side. Boom. You can choose to place this anywhere you like. As long as it's rest on to it. As soon as I press it, it opens and closes. All you need to do is fill in all this and you actually have a hidden staircase. I might have made too much room. <laughs> But as you can see, now we can go down and we can go up. You can easily place something here to cover it up. It will not ruin the staircase whatsoever. No problem at all, as you can see. So, I hope this was useful and you can use it for whatever hidden thing you want to do. Other than that. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and tell me how I did my first at all. It was the first time I did this, and maybe I will do more, if this is going to be popular.